and that damn coach of theirs. He talks so much shit, man. He, and he does it on live television. He don't even wait to get in the locker room. He do it on TV. Like, so we all can just see him. He, he letting that national championship and the SEC championship get to his head last year. He letting all that get to his head. Now look what happened in this year. It's going to show you God do not like ugly, man. And your ass is ugly. I'm talking about horrific ugly. I mean, ugly beyond ugly. That is you. That is you, Coach Ed, um, Ed Edgero. If you watch my video, feel free to come in. We go back and forth all day long because I promise you, I give you hell, man. What's up, college football fans, sports fans, and fans of my channel? Guys, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, all that good stuff. It really helps me out, helps my channel out, guys, helps me to grow. And also, to all my returning subscribers, thank y'all so much, man. So much for coming back, watching all my videos from beginning to end. I love you guys. I love you. You all I got. You all I got, baby. You all I got. And uh, guys, tonight's video, man, guys, this is about Arkansas. And those freaking yellow bellied LSU Tigers, man. Matter of fact, they don't even deserve to be called LSU. Freaking yellow bellied Tigers, man, from Louisiana. Okay, before we get started with this video, man, if I got any LSU fans out there, which I, I know I do, you might not want to watch this video because this video get real nasty, man. I'm talking about super nasty, guys. So unless you just want to watch a nasty video about your team, man, and about your coach, watch. Watch the whole video, baby. But if you, you know what I'm saying, if you kind of got a tender heart, <laughs> you probably won't want to watch this LSU fans. I, I wouldn't. But um, anyway, guys, anyway, man, this video right here, guys, this is about LSU and, um, and Arkansas. And before I really get into the nitty-gritty, I just want to pull up the schedules, okay? I just want to pull up the schedules, guys. And the first one I'm going to start out with is LSU. Okay, LSU, let me move the camera so I can see. LSU, man, they lost to Mississippi State. 44-34. First game of the year. Everybody give Mike Lee's praise. Yeah, welcome to SEC. You doing your thing and all this and that. We know what happened with him. Okay, very next game, Vanderbilt. They won 41-7. to like They rolled all over Vanderbilt. Okay, one loss, one win. Um, next game, Mizzou lost 45-41. to So that's two losses, guys, and one win. Then, um... I don't know why it's saying Mizzou postponed because you just played them. Then it says Florida. Yes, they were supposed to play Florida. Postponed and whatnot. And um, South Carolina, very next game, beat South Carolina 52-24. That when they changed QBs with the TJ Finley, the very next game at Auburn, lost. I mean, got slaughtered, guys. 48-11. to 48-11, man. Then they were supposed to play us, which got postponed again because you got coronavirus and whatnot. In which I think y'all asses did it on purpose. Then next game, y'all got Arkansas at 11 o'clock a.m., you know. So, guys, if you ask me, man, this is, what is this, three losses, two wins, but they had to play Florida at us, that would have definitely been two more losses. So, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. LSU would have five losses right now, five, and only two freaking wins, guys. So, that leaves them with two and five for the season as of right now. Go ahead and call it. All right, next on the list, we got Arkansas. And Arkansas, guys, they played Georgia. They lost 37-10. to 10. Then the next game, the very next game, Mississippi State, they beat 21-14, to 14, which LSU couldn't. Next game, Auburn, they lost, um, lost to Auburn 30-28, which they should have won and whatnot, but I'm not going to get into it, but they should have won that game. Ole Miss, they won 33-21. Texas A&M lost 42-31. to 31. Tennessee beat them by 24-13. And Florida, they lost 63 to 35. So, guys, if you look at this, um, this, the teams that they have already played, they got one loss, one win, one loss, one win, one loss, one win, one loss. So that's um, what is this? Yeah, four losses right now, guys, and three wins. So they already got more wins than LSU, which they should have four wins if you ask me. But you know the record says one, two, three, four. Yes, three wins, four losses. And now they got the freaking yellow belly um, Tigers from LSU, man. So, guys, if you ask me the next game, if you follow this pattern, L, W, L, W, L, W, L, next one should be a W. And at first they had Arkansas favor, man. Now all of a sudden they got the freaking LSU Tigers favor, which I have no idea why. But anyway, I'm done with that, man. 
All right, man. Let's get let's get down to business, guys. Let's get down to business. Just the camera and whatnot. Okay. So, guys, um, <sighs> LSU, man. They don't even deserve that freaking name no more. But now, on, guys, we are not calling their ass LSU. It is strictly Yellow Belly Tigers, man. Yellow Belly. Okay. Cause they don't deserve to be called that as you no more, man. They they don't have the heart, they don't have the grit, they don't have the fight, they ain't got shit, guys. Okay, I'm sorry, excuse my language. I told you it's gonna be a nasty video. I wanted to pray after this, but they don't have nothing, man. No kind of fight in them whatsoever. That's why, guys, I gotta go with my boys, the uh, Arkansas Razors. But I gotta go with the Hogs, man, because the Hogs are not gonna give up. They got fight, they got grit, they got uh, they got all that stuff in them, man. Whatever you want to call it, the hoes got it, okay? So, man, for all this being said, man, LSU, I know that we couldn't play them because they caught the coronavirus on purpose and the game got postponed. But the very next game, the hoes got them. So, man, I'm putting all of my jewels, all of my spirit, high hopes in the hoes this week, man. Hoes, please, please, pretty please. Kick they ass, man. I'm talking about murder them, slaughter them, guys. I, but I want you to beat them so bad, man. That you remember, remember what he said last um, year that uh, I they beat Arkansas. What, what remember what he said? Oh man, what y'all doing? Why y'all celebrating this win for Arkansas? We're not celebrating this win. We're supposed to be Arkansas. Arkansas ain't won a game in two years. This punk said this on national television, man. National TV, SEC Network, ESPN. Everybody heard his ass. Said that we don't that um that we we beat Arkansas we don't deserve no praise we supposed to beat Arkansas, and you already know what they going to do man you gonna say this like bro you got bro y'all got to you got to get him man you got to get him you got to get the team the fans you got to get every day everybody associated with LSU man this is war you just don't understand how bad I wanted to pummel them last week guys you just don't understand but y'all got the opportunity. You know, and they think it's going to be easy. That's why they didn't get sick again. They over it now all of a sudden after a freaking week or two. They over it now. But anyway, they think it's going to be an easy game. Oh, we, they the hogs, man. We already kicked their ass last year. They're nothing. They just, this season right here, they, yeah, they looking okay, but they ain't, they ain't got nothing against it. They ain't, trust me. Y'all see these boys, man. I want y'all to, man, I'm going to get, I shouldn't get this nasty. I want y'all to step on their freaking necks, man. I'm, I want you to break their backs. I want you to break their fingers one by one, spit in their eyes. Guys, I want you to take everything from LSU, man. They heart, they soul, they spirit. I want, I want them to be naked, okay? I don't want them to have nothing, man. That's how bad I wanted to beat LSU so bad. And y'all got the opportunity. Guys, please, and I know y'all can beat them, man. This is the year. All that crap. And then we came into our house and said, this is our house. Elf roll tide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to kick their ass every time we see them. What happened this year, Ed, um, um, Ed Jerome? What happened this year, man? Uh, we was waiting. We was waiting on you all freaking year. And then when the time comes, you chicken out. Oh, I, I, we, we got the coronavirus. I think I think I got it too. No, the hell y'all didn't, man. Y'all did it on purpose. You got out the time. It's all good. It's all good, man. It's all good. Because the hogs gonna eat y'all as a lie. Matter of fact, matter of fact, hogs, when y'all get done with them, man, I want you to roast their ass over an open fire now. Don't kill them. Roast them alive. And everybody in the SEC, all the teams, Kentucky, Georgia, Florida, everybody, we're gonna take um take different pieces off the the, the other bed of tiger's ass. Different pieces. Somebody gonna get the tail, somebody gonna get the foot, the whatever. But you know what? Say the head for me. That's all I want you to do, guys. That's all. I, that's all my only request. Say it ahead for me, cause I'm gonna put it on my freaking wall, on my wall, and mount it up, and I want everybody to see me. Family, friends, little old ladies walking down the street, kids and shit. I want everybody to see that this is what LSU used to be, you know. And everybody can just come, you know what I'm saying? Take pictures and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Sex, um, meat off his cheek. Yeah, y'all can eat him. You know, it don't matter. I don't care. You know, he's roasted, seasoned well, all that good stuff, man. Oh, I hate that you Gosh, I hate them, man. Because they have no freaking heart, guys. They have no toughness, man. No spirit, no fight in them, man. Anytime you get thrashed like that by Auburn and then go to a freaking Halloween party right after, man, that you have no guts, okay? You are finished for the year. Matter of fact, I don't even know you, I don't even know you can come back from that, man. 
I don't know if you can come back from that. But hogs, I'm counting on y'all, man. I'm, I'm like the biggest, I'm like the biggest hog fan right now, man. Y'all know I'm Bama Road Tide, Die Hard Bama fan all my life. But damn it, I'm a hog fan right now, too. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta get them, man. Y'all gotta beat them, man. I'm telling you. Ooh, y'all beat them. I might do an hour long video on y'all, man. Whipping his LSU's ass. I'm, ooh, I'm, I don't know, man. I'm getting too right. I'm getting, I'm getting too hyped up for this, man. I'm getting too hyped up for this because they deserve it, man. And that damn coach of theirs, he talks so much shit, man. He and he does it on live television. He don't even wait to get in the locker room. He do it on TV. Like so, we all can just see him. He he letting that national championship and the SEC championship get to his head last year. He letting all that get to his head. Now look what happened in this year. It's going to show you God do not like ugly, man. And your ass is ugly. I'm talking about horrific ugly. I mean, ugly beyond ugly. That is you. That is you, Coach Ed, um, Ed Edgero. If you watch my video, feel free to come in. We go back and forth all day long because I promise you, I give you hell, man. Beat, beat LSU. Beat them freaking yellow baby tigers. Roast they ass, roast they ass, roast they ass. You can't roast them no more, man. I want them to be crispy black. I, I don't even want them to have us be a tiger no more. I want them to be something else. Something else we have never seen in our lives. I'm talking, man, you saw them. Ooh, I want them. I wanted them so bad. Dang, I wanted them, man. Because they talked so much shit last year. Sorry for cussing, guys. I told you this was going to be a nasty video. They talked so much crap last year, man. And now look at them, man. They only got two freaking wins. And they would have had more losses they had played us in Florida. Now they got the holes, and if it'd be another loss. And I'm finna, man, I'm finna laugh my butt off. Man, I can't wait. I can't wait to Saturday. What's the day? Tuesday? Wednesday? It's Wednesday morning. I cannot wait, man. Ooh, I can't wait. And what else I finna say? Um, I finna say something. Oh, yeah. Usually, you know, the tiger supposed to eat the hog, but in this case, that's not going to happen because these are killer hogs, man, okay? These are Arkansas Razorback killer hogs from Arkansas, man. And I'm telling you, when they, when they, come, when they step on the field, man, they eating everything. I'm talking about everything. Them, the grass, hell, they might even chew on the referee's ass. I don't know. But they, the hogs going to be eating. And they going to eat good, baby. They going to eat good, man. Just like that slogan, uh, eating good in the neighborhood of Applebee's. That's what the hogs gonna do on LSU, and we all gonna eat good on their ass because we owe them, man. I think we all owe LSU. Be honest with you, I don't know they talk trash about everybody else, but I know they talk trash about the hogs and they talk trash about us, saying that yeah, Alabama, we gonna kick their ass every time we see them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. F road tide, this and that. And man, you eight years we kicked your ass, almost a freaking decade. We have stumped your ass, El um. Ed Ogeron, LSU, and Les Miles, well, Les Miles ain't, Les Miles ain't even talk like that. But this guy, he gonna come on, on the scene, brand new, fresh, and talk all this crap like he been beating us? Hogs, please. If you don't do nothing else for me this year, man, I'm talking about, if you don't do nothing else for Big Dog of College Football, a.k.a. Big Ben, if you don't do nothing else for me this year, please beat the hell out of LSU. And don't stop, man. Please do not look at the scoreboard. I don't care if you're up 100 to nothing. Keep going. Because they deserve it, man. They deserve it, and especially the coach. We got to knock him down. Because this high horse he was on, yes, this year he's going through it, man. But he, it's not over with. It's not over with. And then I think we're going to still see him in, um, later on this year. But for now, I'm rooting for the Hawks, baby. I'm rooting for the Hawks. But anyway, guys, with that being said, much love, man. Much love, guys. And, um, you know, I don't think I ever had said this before, man. But before I end this video, guys, I got to say roll tie to freaking Woo Pig Suey, man. Because this week right here, it's about revenge for us and the Hogs, man. Because he, he got it coming, man. And I know I said some nasty words in this video and whatnot. And, I, you know, I went to pray after this. But, man, you just don't understand, guys. LSU, man, they talk so much, man. And they had to just shut the hell up. You know, they shut the hell up. After y'all beat us, and shut the hell up after you beat the hogs. Never would have been said. I would not have made this video like this. I would have, I would have made a video like this, but it wouldn't have been like this. Okay, it have, you know, been my regular videos. But after all the stuff that he said, guys, he deserved everything he got coming to him. I'm talking about everything, everything he got coming to him, man, and more. This ain't over with LSU, not by a long shot. 
But anyway, guys, with that being said, much love. Much love, man, for real this time. And uh, stay tuned. Stay blessed. I promise you, I'll be back with more videos. All right, peace.